Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be creating a bar infographics animation in After Effects using sliders. The simplest way to animate this bar is by simply animating the size using keyframes. But there is also a problem doing this way. In this tutorial, you'll we'll learn how to rig a graph so that you can input information to display the analytics of any given data. The best thing about this is that it is very easy to change the numbers and you don't have to worry about the designs. The infographics will update the analytics in real time. Alright, just before we proceed, a lot of you who are watching the video have not subscribed to the channel. So I request you to kindly subscribe to the channel and help me reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Also, follow me on Instagram at the Motion Designers. Alright, back to the tutorial. Alright, here I am in a new composition. Click on the pen tool with no fill and a stroke of gray, about 5 pixel. Click here. Hold down shift and click it down here. You'll have a perfect straight line. So hit control shift and H to hide that to see just the lines. Collapse this, go to the contents, shape and stroke and we'll, we'll add a stroke. Go to add and add a repeater. Go inside this repeater and we're gonna repeat it in the X axis about 15 copies, okay? Once you're done with that, you can just rename these lines, okay? And reposition it in the composition using your arrows there. And I'm gonna lock this. I'm gonna grab the pen tool again, but this time I'm gonna increase this to 90. And control click on this to bring up the gradient tool. And I'm gonna change the color to something like this. And you can always refine the gradient. Rename that bar bg1 okay that is the bar background one so go and select this path zoom in and i'm going to refine this all right that's cool and i'm gonna move it up a little somewhere here and i'm gonna duplicate this Control D to duplicate and rename this bar one. Hit OK. And I'm gonna change the color of the gradient, pinkish blue, okay? Like that. So select this path again, and I'm gonna drag it somewhere here and grab a text, write in your text, and maybe change it back to, to this color. To this color, okay? All right, so I'm gonna create another text which is 100 and this is going to be the value of the graph so place it somewhere here or you can place it anywhere in the composition select all these layers and color code it just color code it to one color so that you can remember the layers all right we're going to add a null object and we're going to rename this controller hit ok Hit enter and go to the effects and presets and search for slider controls. Drag and drop this slider control on top of that null object. Now we have a graph ranging from 0 to 100 and we have a slider control which is nothing as of now. We have a slider control which exceeds the value of 100. So, so we're gonna set this work area for the slider controls so that the area is just between 0 to 100 all right so i'll rename this 2020 since we're going to link this 2020 to this 2020 data okay so i'm going to lock this effects and controls selecting on the this layer go and collapse this go to effect 2020 hold down alt and click on this and i have an expression which i will include it in the description you can copy and paste it once you copy and paste it in this slider if you click it away and if you select this and go here 
you can't scroll it past 100 so that's what we want because our data is from 0 to 100 all right now that we have the slider controls it's time to link everything together just before we proceed just select this bar and we're going to reduce this to stroke to 70 so that it's it looks a little nicer you know all right so you have this and select this bar one go and collapse this go to add and we're going to add a trim path go to trim path and we're going to animate using this all right so hold down alt click on this end and pick whip it to the value of this slider all right so this is at 100 and you have this at 100 if I set it to 80, so this is 80. The total is 100 and this is 80. We're going to connect this text displaying the number which we input it here in the slider. So that is also very easy. Go and collapse this text. Go to source text. Hold down alt. And if you pick whip to the slider, you have that. That's very easy. So now that we have this rig, Let's duplicate this, select all of this, Control D to duplicate, move it up and change the color, which is pink. And let's move it up using your keyboard arrows, maybe here. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change it back to 2021. And this is the percentage. OK, let's not confuse it. Let's rename this to percentage. All right, so let's duplicate this 2020 and duplicate and it's going to be 2021 and we're going to link everything back. All right, let's change this color to pink and we go to contents, trim path and you have uh, expression. You can change this to 2021. All right, and going back to the percentage text source text and you can change this from 2020 to 2021 this 2021 is the name of the slider which is here so if i change this 2021 to i don't know 30 and you can see that it updates here by itself okay you'll have to do the same exact thing for all the bar graph that you have all right i'm going to show you another example let's go and create a new composition and this time we're going to create an ellipse. Let's unlock this. Let's draw an ellipse here. Let's write 100. You know, scale it up. All right. So like this, align it to the center like that. And we're going to add a trim path again. Trim path. It's going the reverse. So just click on this and it will reverse the way it animates. Okay. So we're going to link this to a null object, okay? Slider. So null object and go and drop the slider. And we're going to add a slider expression here. The same thing. Select the null object. Lock this. We're going to pick whip this to this slider. So and go to the source text. All click. And you can also drag it to the slider. Okay. So that's 19. Okay. Let's animate this. Go to the first frame. Set a keyframe. And go to go to maybe maybe here around for a second and 65 and it's coming back to say 35 okay all right so now that you have this problem if you go back here so if i once i start animating here say for example you know just select all this okay go a few frames and 35 just random numbers 45 and 65 and 90 okay once you play it back and have the animation you have these values all around okay i'll show you how to fix this go and select the text go to source expression click on this and i'll add one line of expression that is math dot round all right cut this control x and put it inside this bracket all right that solves that or the easier way to do is that select this controller lock this and i'm going to delete all the expression here for the text i'll write math dot round and pick whip to the slider i hope you learned something from this tutorial 
If you want to learn more After Effects, watch this video. This is Motion Designer and I will see you in my next video. Take care.